Hey YouTube, Kitmits A9 here. I just got back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Qualifiers with Zero Magnum X and we had a good time. And thanks to going there, I got a chance to update my Dragoonies a bit. I got some new synchros and I got some new traps too. So I figured I'd let you guys know what's going on. And I got my official Konami card game player thingy. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, you're probably wondering why that Nilla card's sitting there. I'll get to that in a bit. Okay, so without further ado, here's the updated Dragoonies. I run three Phalanx, as always, three Ackleys, three Legionnaire, three Ducks, two Effect Veiler. As far as the spells, they haven't really changed. Three Dragon Ravine, three Terraforming, two MST, Stable, two cards Constant, Snow, three, you'll see why. One Foolish Burial, one Monster Reborn, one Book, and here's the other reason for the two cards constants. I had in a Pot of Avarice, I realized Dragoonies need it because they only run a couple monsters, so you run out pretty quick. Dark Hole, Staple, obvious. Giant Trunade, you're not running this, I don't know why. Okay, two Cad Samadul from Dan Green, otherwise known as the boys of Autem and Yugi from the, from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! He was there at the World Qualifier, and I got a chance for him to sign this one, as well as my favorite all-time card, Mystical Elf. Believe in the heart of the cards, Dan Green. So, yay! Okay, so one Mirror Force, two Bottomless, two Compal, three Compals. My new card, I run three Dim Prison, because I can finally afford it, and I found a vendor who had it. Technically, it was a friend. Okay, and a Dark Bribe. I had originally a three, but I realized it became way too cluttered. So I took it back down to one. That may or may not change later. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm on a budget though. I'm only on $20 a week from my parents since I can't really afford to get a job right now for my dad's health. Okay, so that's the main build. Now I'm gonna take you on over to my extra deck. I got a Vortex from my friend Nick, who I also name in my little description. I finally got a Catastor. So very thankful. He really comes in handy against almost any deck I face except for Black Wings. Still a magical android. I'm looking for a hyper librarian, but I'm trying to find an easier way to do it, as in saving money. I now have my three Vajaranas. Yay. Gabolg, I run him at one. And since he can go ahead and remove any wing beast from the graveyard in order to up his attack, he really comes in handy with this deck. One Branach, as always. Um, for level 7s, I need two of them, but I didn't really know which ones to run, so I'm still running Ancient Fairy and Black Rose Dragon. Now, yes, you say was there. Greg Abbey signed my special Stardust. I felt honored. He signed as you say, so yay. He also signed my Scrap Dragon. Another yay. I just got this thing at the convention the same day he signed it, so woo. So yeah, running that. Finally got my Thought Roller Archfiend, so I'm running one of him. One RDA. Yeah, I know you don't see us in too many decks nowadays, but I personally think it comes in handy, especially with the decks who need to stall with defense mode monsters. And one Mist Worm. Why not Trishula, you're probably asking? Well, number one, Trishula's expensive. And with these, it bounces them back to the hand, so it avoids just destruction and remove from play. So, in case they run a remove from play deck, it's not helping them out at all. Okay, and as far as my side, it's changed very slightly. I run two Spell Shattering Arrows, two Icarus Attacks, two Trapple, two Threatening Roar, one Magic Cylinder, one Dust Tornado, one Divine Wrath, and one Solemn Judgment, thanks to Zero Magnumex who let me have it from his binder. I also run a Soul Release. And I have a Claw Fighter in here, just in case I may need something with extra attack. And I have a Gale the Whirlwind in here. I know, you don't really think about putting it in here, but I'm trying it out for the meantime. So once I find something better, I might consider putting it in there. Okay, well, that's pretty much my update. I got the deck in here, I showed you guys the signed cards. And I got my official Konami card, yay! Um, I probably will not be updating for a little while up until I have something of actual interest. I don't like just doing a vlog just to go ahead and say, hey, I'm still alive. So, 
here's my gift to you, the updated version of the deck and the special signed cards, so my friends will probably be jealous. Okay, well, I hope you're all having a good day, and I hope to go ahead and have some positive feedback on the deck. Again, no flaming, but if you have any positive suggestions, remember I'm on a budget, so anything you can do that's budget-worthy that can help out this deck, let me know. And Kitman89 out. Peace, YouTube.